Okay, this is a release party for what now? For Dapper Drake. Can you tell me a little bit about no, that? I'm a good guy. Um, no, I haven't even looked at it yet because it was just released today and I've been working all day. <laughs> all right. So this is a play, this is not just people in their basement setting it up? A lot of people do work out of their basements in their spare time, free. but the, the company that's that's funding the bulk of the development uh-huh. for this this operation is called Canonical, uh-huh. and they are a company, they're, they're bankrolled by a guy named Mark Shuttleworth, who is... Uh, made his money in the dot com boom, okay. and he you know he doesn't have to work. He can be a philanthropist and enjoy he just a, a high life. With the mainstream operating system that's free. That's so correct. He wants to suck the money out of us. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yeah. He, wants to, he wants to develop something that people can use and share. And uh, the name Ubuntu means humanity towards others. Okay. Uh, it's, well, it's a South African word. No. Uh, why should you use Linux rather than Windows? Well, uh, first of all, Linux is free software and um, it, uh, gives you the opportunity to make your own decisions about what goes on in your computer rather than having it controlled by a corporation. You never have to buy Microsoft Word again. Free Geek Columbus is a model after Free Geek in Portland, Oregon, the original Free Geek project. The goal is to get people to give us their old computers that they would otherwise discard because the number of toxins and poisons in computers is astronomical. They're really bad for landfills. If people can give us their PCs, we will take the labor to disassemble them and give them to recyclers who will reconstitute them into various other products that we use every day. The recyclers will pay us for the raw materials that they're that they're recycling. We get a revenue stream out of that. And the end user feels good about not throwing you know poison into a landfill. The stuff that people give us that is good, that's usable, we will reconstitute into new PCs, refurbished PCs, loaded with free software that people can use to do whatever it is that they would normally do. All they have to do is volunteer with us for, I think we're, we're shooting for 20 hours right now, for volunteer effort. And they can earn themselves a free PC loaded with a completely functional GNU Linux operating system and application software. So it's it's a pretty good idea because it helps the environment, it helps people who might otherwise not be able to get a computer, and they can't afford a new PC from Dell or Microsoft, they can come volunteer with us. And at the same time, in their volunteer efforts, they'll be learning job skills and some technology nomenclature that might assist them with finding a new job out in the, the business. How hard is it to uh, like volunteer for a free geek? It's not hard. Just show up. If that's all. We'll, if, if you don't know what to do, we'll tell you. We'll help you. It's pretty easy to take a take computer apart. It's pretty easy to put one together again. We'll help you walk through every step of the way. And we'll explain all the questions you have. We'll answer. Um, do you guys have a website? W- oh, no. It's no W. It's just freakycolumbus.org. Oh, yeah. Okay.